Hey everyone, this is Manly Madass Hero, and welcome back to Close Your Eyes. Previously on Close Your Eyes, we made some pancakes to go with all the murder. Something's gotta chase me, isn't it? The train? Taking the train to nowhere. It's the Drawn Moon. The main character clearly liked the night sky and has fond memories of it. I feel like I'm not any closer to figuring out what this is all about. I feel like I just have more questions now. Time to go up another metaphorical ladder. Red room? Train stuff from hell. Just keeps on going on. Two of them now. You know what? I'm gonna just go make a straight line here. Eight men hung to dry. Seven were sinful, one was a lie. You are the jury and the judge. You must lift this everlasting grudge. She can eat a lot, but maybe if just had just a smidge. He watched the rapist execution on the screen. The son of a bitch had it coming, he beamed. She admired her friend, she did. She wanted to live and experience her life, she hid. He found a loose dollar to his luck. He figured, hey, it's just a buck. As he looked from him to they, he realized he was better in every way. As she moaned and she frust, her partner came in and she cussed. The Lord had asked him for a sacrifice. He gave up his son and hoped it would suffice. Some boy had fallen to the river, it seemed. She decided not to get up. It was not her responsibility, she deemed. A puzzle? No, it's wrong. I think I realized what this puzzle is. Uh, it's basically each one of these is one of the sins. So that's lust. Pride? Maybe that's the one. So sloth? Gluttony, Wrath, I'm gonna think about this one, maybe Envy, Greed, Pride, Lust, I can't think of what this would be, so I think that one's the non-sacrifice version. That one. Cross her fingers. Ah, uh, sounds painful. 
Yeah, that was the only one I couldn't tie to a sin. The host. Oh, he's okay. How are you all doing? And it looks like we have a surprise guest. Don't be shy, huh? We've been waiting for you. Do you want to know a secret? He was asking for it. You were just giving her what she wanted. It's not her fault. It's I'm in the light. Over here. I still don't know what this game is trying to imply of the backstory. I don't see more light. Shit, this sounds like Kurt's Cowardly Dog's OST. It's not going to involve weird lich rituals, is it? Uh, this came too weird for me. This is so odd. Oh my god! It's doing the thing. Quite a bit different than the other dialogue. Close your eyes. I'm so confused. Last words. Uh, 
I'm sorry for waking you, sleepyhead, but I needed to show you this. Close your eyes. Why? Because it's a surprise, silly. I trust you more than anyone now. You're all I have left. When I found that thingy buried in our yard, I never wanted to touch that thing. You know what Mom said that. Well, I guess you never really knew, Mom. I used it to be able to bring Mom back. I'd be able to see my Mama again. Our Mama. Everything that's mine is yours. We're in this together. We'll always be together. I know I leave a lot of the work to you. Now, open your eyes. Alright, last time I got murdered. So, maybe I have to do a reverse of the one puzzle so it's be right. Then left? Or just keep going right? Maybe if I see the pop of a text, I gotta go the other direction. Okay, right. Then left. Then maybe up? No. I'm going left. <laughs> Not this way. Go oh God, where am I going? I'm lost now. I lost my sense of direction. How do I skip this hill? I should take it slow. If I see you in the corner of my eye, I don't want to go that way. Ah, shit. Just let me go. I don't like this. She's over here. Don't go that way. Maybe there's a door somewhere. One I can escape with. <laughs> Alright, this is different. This is the room I'm looking for. So we're back in the house. Things are much more grim and red, though. Tight hallways. Gonna be a giant jump scare in here. Shit. Gotta run the blood. Looks like I failed with that. Nope, I'm getting a lead on it. <sighs> it got me. Shit. It's like if I dawdle at all, I'm gonna die. Come on, come on. Keep up running the blood. Come on. Getting corner angles. Dad. Blood. Almost on me, but almost to the end. 
Freedom. Freedom. Okay. Locked door. Let's check out the room where this is all started. Maybe there's something in there? No. In here. This was the room where I got transported to that horrible place in the first place. This room's a lot bigger now. I really don't know. Maybe it would have to do with the sacrifice. Redwoods. Yeah, those were trees after all. What you were made to do. Hmm. Maybe there was a bit of a supernatural magical aspect going on, like it actually was a lich ritual. But am I actually the brother, or the sister of the sister, or whatever I am? I keep thinking I'm a girl, but I could be wrong. Welcome to the afterlife. Awful place. You enjoy that. Now someone is playing piano somewhere. Over here. I mean, these are the pianos. I don't see anyone playing piano, though. I already talked to that person. Maybe I'm some kind of... I think I'm familiar. Maybe I'm not actually a person. Could explain why I look so different. Fuck your questions. Damn, this is so fucking edgy. Do it. You're enjoying it. Relish it. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you deserve a treat. I just want to let you know. I love you. Let's be together. Till the end of time. What the hell happened? It's probably one of the first games I've played where I've been legitly confused till the end. It starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. 
And suddenly all at once my legs won't let me stand I scratch till my fingers go numb But my skin never bleeds A silent accomplice waits and feeds when I'm asleep There's something that lives inside me I promise I'm there Scratch till my fingers go numb, but my skin never bleeds. A silent accomplice waits and feeds when I'm asleep. There's something that lives inside me. I promise I never. So that's it for Close Your Eyes. Playing through the game, I was pretty confused, but once I kind of sat down for a minute or so and kind of thought about the game a bit, I think I have a general idea where the plot was going. There's a lot of little subtle things, I don't know if I'm looking too deep into it, or if they were actually symbolism for things, but I believe that the sister is possibly a much more sinister figure than she appears at first. And I also have a personal theory that the main character is not a blood relative, but rather, it's almost like a case of Stockholm Syndrome. This is if the main character is not supernatural. If that's the case, then most of these theories just get thrown out the window. But right now, I think the main character is a boy. I originally thought it was a girl because of the she stuff, but I think it is a boy. It goes back to the drawing in the beginning where it showed a boy and a girl. I think the girl is the sister. And I think the main character is not blood related. I think they arrived her childhood friends. And they, he took on a kind of surrogate brother position. Or he was actually captured or something. He's not blood related, that's my opinion. Because she makes some mention of when mother was gone, I didn't know what to do and until you arrived and so on. And she likes to always reiterate, I gotta save mother, I mean, our mother. So I don't think they're blood related. I actually have a little personal theory that the one part of the game where you have to listen to the orders, they're actually talking about the sister, and you're just reenacting the sister's actions, and that possibly the boy she picks up and then murders is you. And uh, the reason you're not dead is because actually when you select the murder option, the boy escapes. Then you catch up to him, and you don't really see what happens. You see the eye symbolism, which kind of appears throughout the game, so it doesn't necessarily mean anyone died or lost their eyes. I think your sister is a rapist. Um, not like she forced you down rape, but kind of more of a like a molesty statutory rape. She looks like she's clearly older. Um, like I said, she's not blood related, she might have captured the main character. She kind of encourages him on. And I think that after the murders, the media interpreted this, and their investigation thought that your character was a rapist, on top of being a murderer. So you're a little bit... 
you're kind of guilty of a lot of things, but other things your character's kind of torn apart on. And this goes back to the, the sins section of the game, where I think some of the sins are actually commentating about the events of the game, like the TV and the wrath. So after the events of the game, and they call the cops and they arrive, and they get you on multiple counts of murder, including your sister, sister's name's completely cleared, and pretty much only the ghosts of the people you murdered know the truth. That's why they mention about the Twisted Master and the stuff like that. But they still hate your guts, because you still kind of willingly murdered them. And the reason for that is, obviously, the sister is twisted, thinking some kind of rituals could bring back the mother. Obviously, it doesn't. I don't know if her getting murdered was part of her plan, or if it was a unfortunate side effect. Not quite sure. Which brings me back to the radio host, or the announcer. I don't think the announcer exists. I suppose in some theories you could think that maybe as a father or a lover of the sister. But I think the host is actually a representation for your main character's guilt. For the actions they did, kind of. It's... It's a way for them to kind of look over what they did over in their past and... Also at the same time kind of shove the guilt of the murder of the sister onto another figure. But I don't think they exist. It's kind of like a Lucifer kind of figure that's kind of showing you what you did in your final moments before you're hanged. And then in the ending, you have a choice of kind of confronting your past and looking over your terrible memories and die either way. Or you kind of ignore it. You never go over those horrible final events. And you just kind of hang peacefully. You know, kind of accepting what you've done. And either way, it's a depressing ending. So, thank you all for watching me play Close Your Eyes. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.